great. I have, a, I have a ton of stuff that I need to do around the house before I'm ready to list it. Cool. I can totally appreciate, your first name is? Scott. Scott. I can totally appreciate and respect that you have a lot to do around the house. Getting your home on the market is a big deal. It's not something we do every day, is it, Scott? And what I'd like to offer to you, notice, and, not whatever, however, and what I'd like to offer to you or what I'd like to su suggest to you, Scott, is that instead of spending time and energy and, and money on making home improvements to your home that may or may not get you an ROI, why don't you have me out first so I can give you some suggestions of things that are actually creating a good ROI for sellers. For instance, we had a seller that said to me, Jeff, you know, we're gonna replace the kitchen and we're gonna replace the bathrooms and then we'll have you come out. Well, kitchen and bathrooms, <coughs> if you replace them all together, you're gonna lose money on that investment. That wouldn't be smart. Now, I know, Scott, you didn't say you were going to do that, but a lot of sellers make these improvements and they get little to no return or worse, they lose money on these improvements. So wouldn't it make sense to have me out first? We don't need to talk about listing your home for sale. I'll just walk through the property and give you some suggestions on things that can actually improve your home's value versus take away from it. Fair enough? Fair enough. Great. So I'm using the stall, that they're using a stall tactic on me of not ready to do it right now because we have work to do, and I just actually turn that into a benefit of why you should have me out. Good one, what else? But if you notice, no buts, no howevers, I'm in agreement. When you're agreeing with them, they're tuning in to what you have to say. And then they'll listen to what you have to say. When you disagree, or you argue, or you say however, or you say but, they're tuning out what you have to say. Yes? Got it. So the, the Redfin, right? Okay, well, I can appreciate you interviewing Redfin. They're, they're a good discount company, and I appreciate them offering that. If I were in your shoes, I would probably want a discount too. Agreeing, smiling, nodding my head. Why? Because they're going to listen to what I have to say after that. And I'm curious, you said to me you want to get the most out of the sale of this home. Is that right? Yes. Well, my question is, how do you plan on netting more by working with a company that specializes in less? How do you plan on netting more on the sale of a home by working with a company that specializes in less? Now, it's even more powerful if I have some data to back it up in the MLS, list price versus sales price data. And oh, by the way, most discount count companies their list price to sales price average is a lot lower. Why is that? Well, because their agents aren't as strong at getting properties priced correctly. So what ends up happening is their list price to average sales price might be like 94%, where mine might be 98%. And I love when that happens, because then I can say, you know, I did a little research, because during the prequal, they told you who they were meeting with. You know, I did a little research, and by the way, this comes up on appointments all the time. So I do this research ahead of time. And I, I want to share something with you. Your first name is? Lucy. Lucy? Lucy, if you take a look here, that company that you just mentioned, they're averaging their sellers 95% of their asking price. I'm averaging 98%. So technically, I could actually charge you a little bit more and you'd still be ahead. Now, I'm not going to do that, <coughs> but you can see how that would affect your bottom line. You want to net the most out of the sale of a home, don't you? And you do feel that I can sell your home, don't you? Great, well then let's get you the most. Fair enough? Okay. Say that again, Jeff. How do you plan on working with the yeah. person? Yeah, so un understand uh, you're looking to get you know a, a good deal on the commission, and I appreciate that there's some discount companies out there that will give you a good deal on the commission. I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'd want a good deal too if I were in your shoes. And my question is, how do you plan on netting more by working with a company that specializes in less. How do you plan on netting more by working with a company that specializes in less? All right, awesome. 